we're going to focus on something that we briefly touched on earlier on. And that is how to sort and filter by color. So you can see here on the spreadsheet, I have some crazy formatting going on. Now, whilst this looks crazy, you will encounter spreadsheets that kind of look similar to this. So we've got a few things going on here. We have everybody who's in the HR department highlighted with a green background fill. We have everybody in the marketing department highlighted with a blue background fill. And then we have everybody in finance. They don't have a background fill, but the font is a different color. Now, what about if I want to sort or filter this list based on either the background fill color of the cell or the font color? Well, the good news is, of course, we can do that in Excel. So let's take a look at how we would filter by background color. First of all, now, because I have this background color applied to all of the columns, I could choose any of these column drop downs in order to filter this list. So I'm just going to go for employee name. If we click the drop down, notice that we have a filter by color option. And when we hover our mouse over that option, we get a little menu shoot out to the side where we can choose to filter by cell color. So if I just want to filter for everything with a green background fill, I can simply select that from the list. And that is exactly what I'm going to get. And it works exactly the same way as any other filter in Excel. If I want to clear that filter, I can click the drop down again and choose clear filter from employee name. Similarly, if I wanted to filter for everything with a blue background fill, again, I can go to any of these drop downs, go to filter by color and choose blue. And we've filtered our list. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course and gain access to over 200 courses ad free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. Now, sorting by color works in a similar way. So let's clear the filter from the department. And this time I want to sort my list so that everything that has a blue background fill shows at the top. So I can select any of these drop downs again and I can sort by color. So I'm going to choose blue and it's going to put those at the top. Now, what if I want to sort this list so that I have everything with a blue background fill followed by everything with a green background fill? Well, once again, we can go into sort by color, but this time we want to do a custom sort. So I already have my sort applied here for everything with a blue background fill. I can then add another level and it doesn't matter which column I select because the background fill applies to all columns, but then I can choose cell color in the sort on area and I can choose green. Let's click on OK. And you can see it's now pulled all of those records to the top of my list. Now, when it comes to sorting and filtering based on the font color, that works in a very similar way. So let's go up to sort. I'm just going to delete these filters and resort this list from smallest to largest to put everything back to how it was. So if I wanted to filter this list so that I only see the records that have a purple font color, I can go up to any of the columns go to filter by color and notice we have a filter by font color option. So when I select this, that's exactly what I'm going to get. Once again, I can clear the filter from the employee name and it works the same with sort. So if we go to any of the columns, we can sort by color. And once again, we can sort by the font color, which is going to put those at the top of the list. So just be aware of those options that you have. If you happen to have rows in your data set that have a different style of formatting. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.